Good afternoon, and for me, it's a Sunday afternoon on the bank holiday weekend. And I've got mediocre up on the stand, and I've got some weird devices down here because I think they're doing a cheeky little valve replacement because it's really cracked and. And you'll have to excuse some of, uh, yeah, it's really cracked right down on the edge of the stem. So it needs replacing. Um, it's an advisory that I got in the MOT. The back's the same. And the front tyre on the booster, or the front valve on the booster is the same. So I'm going to try... A cheeky little clamp it, pull the tire out of the way, um, and replace the valve without taking the wheel and all the rest of it off. I've done it once before, and it was a success. I'm going to try it again. So stay tuned. Wish me luck and all that malarkey, and um, I'll get set up, and I'll bring you back. So, first thing, take the air out. Like so. Then, Bit of wood on the side of the wheel, and then one of these on the wood on the wheel, and then this side only on the tire. Do with could do with pinching that brake as well, stop that wheel turning. So I'll just stick a cable tie on that, I think. Cable tie on. Let's see if we can not we, me. See if I can bodge this properly. Bodge it properly. I don't think this this voice ain't working properly. That's not very helpful. So that's the the valve there. So, I need to cut that one off and stick another new one on. Right, I want to be careful with my beautifully powder coated rims. There you go. There I go. No, I can't see this how it's splitting. I don't think you can. Anyway. Hang on, let's try enlightenment as well. See all the cracking. That was an MOT um advisory and that has been an mot advisory for i think about three years so i proper got round to it as quick as i could now new valve 
same as the old valve just um, <laughs> not a split I'm just going to put a bit of tyre soap around it to hopefully help it ease into position and some people say the old tyre soap as opposed to just using washing up liquid the tyre soap can actually help um, seal as well it gets in all the nooks and crannies don't know how true that is I'm just throwing that out there I'm going to have to get a new valve puller tool because this one's not not the best in the world alright that's in there and then just there we go Rather beautiful. Now pump it up. Well, we'll get the vices off it first. Right, a bit of tire soap on. Now, apply some air. So I've given it about 50 pounds of pressure. Not hearing any leaks. Not feeling any leaks. So let's let that down to 36. And cut the cable tie off the brake lever. Remember to sharpen the knife down the bottom and then um, spit test missed and no bubbles very important <laughs> right that is a valve replaced just blow that spit out or not there you go one valve replaced gorgeous um I don't know what to say really if if that helps that helps if it done out done out some some of you are going to say about bastardizing your tire by crushing it um i don't think that's the case it still goes circular and you're bunching it up rather than trying to bend it i don't know i don't know the science behind it I've seen other people do it and it's definitely a much quicker way of doing it than taking the whole wheel off sticking it in my tyre machine and taking the tyre halfway off that was definitely a lot quicker so yeah in the comments reactions 
good, bad, indifferent. Um, but yeah, that's the second time I've done it. I think that was a front wheel as well. I think it was mediocre as well. I've, I think my main problem is when I change tyres, I, I don't change the valves. Something I really need to start doing, I think. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's um, just a quick video on me changing a valve. Um, I don't know what that is in real time, but probably 30 minutes, if that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what time I came in here, so there's, there's no point me checking my clock. Um, half one, probably about half hour, maybe a bit less actually. Um, but there you go, anyway, that's, that's me changing a valve on my GSX R1000. Mediocre. The mighty mediocre. Look. Look. Mighty. Mighty filthy, but mighty. Um, also, you may have noticed, you may not have noticed, but I'm using a different camera. Um, I'm using a Ghost XL. Because my Ghost HD has died. Oh. Um, I don't know if anyone out there in YouTube land knows. I've tried Googling it. I haven't done an extensive search or anything. But nothing comes up immediately. It's all functional apart from trying to start the video. Or take a photo or anything utilizes the camera itself menus you can scroll through and oh there's nothing on there so yeah menus i can use that that's the camera on and off but it for the menu settings you know it all works it just won't activate the camera in any anything whether that's as i say if that's video or just taking a photo it won't operate it for some reason don't know it's a little bit sad because this is uh this was the first camera i ever bought um blimey 10 years ago 12 years ago maybe um and obviously this one has got a screen on it so you can see what you're videoing the ghost xl i have to get up on my phone which isn't as it isn't as convenient but um there you go anyway let us know is the footage cleaner crisper sharper <laughs> or is all this extra performance really not worth it but there you go i'm going to go and do the back wheel and the front wheel on the booster and if i have any disasters i'll let you know but i won't video it because you've seen what i'm going to do you don't need to see it again on a different bike um and it means i can have the radio on oh, what a fleet what a fleet gorgeous anyway that's enough of that silliness i'll um catch you again Ta -ra.